for his last video for you viewers. Firstly, Ethiopian PM Abi an hour ago shared a message in connection with Ramadan, holy month of fasting for Muslims. Uh, secondly, at least 13 trucks have reached Makale, Tigray's capital, officially confirmed. Uh, thirdly, an opposition political party based in the Somali region of Ethiopia uh, is uh, holding some meetings in the US. And lastly, uh, Tigrayans have protested uh, in Geneva, Switzerland. The protest was a symbolic uh, reenactment of what happened in Benishangal Gumas region of Ethiopia, where we know that last month. Uh, uh, several Tigrayans uh, were burnt alive by security forces. Today's protest was held right in front of UN office in Geneva, Switzerland. Firstly, PM Abi congratulated Muslims uh, uh, as uh, Ramadan moon has been cited. From Saturday, Muslims will fast a month of fasting. Muslims observe. It's called Ramadan by Muslims. Islam is the second largest religion in Ethiopia. Around 30% of Ethiopian population is Muslim, it is said. Uh, PM Abi in his message said that uh, it's a month of purification. And secondly, he says that uh, we should hope that uh, we do better uh, and Muslims do better in this month for themselves and for their country. So Ramadan moon has been cited to Muslim fast from tomorrow, but uh, Ethiopians are already fasting, uh, not as a religious practice, but because they don't have any food. Uh, we know that uh, 15 million people in Ethiopia are in dire need of aid, food aid, in Burana, in Guji, in Somali region, in Tigray, Amhara, Afar. Millions of people are in dire need of food. And still, conflicts keep on emerging. There is no real consensus to take on the challenge of providing food to the people who are in dire need of this food, who are dying of uh, food shortage, who are in famine. Let's hope and pray that things improve uh, for the people who are in need of food in Ethiopia. Uh, secondly, viewers, uh, at least 13 uh, trucks have arrived in Magale, Tigray's capital. It has now been officially confirmed. Just a few hours ago, WFP said that its aid convoy had reached Rabati, Afar, Vorada. Then, uh, just an hour ago, WFP World Food Program Ethiopia released a new statement. It says that 13 aid trucks have entered Makale. More aid trucks and fuel trucks uh, uh, will enter Makale tomorrow. WFP has thanked Afar regional government, Afar communities, uh, and Ethiopian federal government that they facilitated safe uh, passage of these trucks through Afar to Tigray. Uh, Afar government has obviously agreed to let the aid pass through its region while TDF is still in Afar. Without the cooperation of Afar regional government, Afar tribal elders, this uh, delivery was not possible. Uh, secondly, WFP says that Tomorrow in the morning, uh, delivery of aid to the people of Afar will also reach 1,000 metric tons of uh, food aid is on its way to Birhale and Kanaba. So, uh, it is the first by road uh, aid delivery to Tigray since December. By air, delivery of aid was underway, which was... Uh, 
not sufficient because Tigray needs around 100 trucks on daily basis. Let's hope that uh, this unofficial ceasefire between Tigray and Afar forces uh, continues and it is uh, turned into a permanent ceasefire so that uh, people of Tigray, people of Afar can receive this much needed aid. Thirdly viewers, uh, an opposition political party based in the Somali region of Ethiopia is holding some meetings in the US. Name of the party is Ogaden National Liberation Front ONLF which was an armed group then it turned into a political party. It signed a peace agreement with the government. Uh, uh, we saw officials of this party in the US in November last year as well when they held some meeting with US lawmakers. Once again, ONLF party officials are in the US. Though uh, party has not issued any official statement in this regard, but uh, pictures are being shared of these party officials in meetings with some US uh, lawmakers. I have not seen other political parties uh, hold uh, meetings in the US with US lawmakers, official meetings. Yes, diaspora members uh, have been seen, they meet US lawmakers, they are in touch with uh, US government officials. But I have not seen other political parties hold similar meetings in the US. This is the second time in around four months that ONLF party officials have been seen in the US. ONLF is from Ogaden, from Somali region of Ethiopia, uh, which is uh, uh, the region where there are reserves of oil and gas, we know. And several international companies are interested in exploration, in extraction of these natural resources. Some companies are working as well in this region. Lastly, viewers, uh, Tigray and Aspera members uh, have protested in Geneva, Switzerland, in front of uh, UN office there. The protest was uh, a symbolic reenactment of what happened in Benishangal Gomez region of Ethiopia, where last month several Tigrayans were burned alive by Ethiopian government uh, forces, regional forces. Some uh, perpetrators have been arrested, uh, uh, but so far uh, the case is under investigation. Uh, Tigrayans are trying uh, to uh, make the international community realize that their community, their ethnic group is under crackdown, it's facing genocide in Ethiopia. That is why this protest was held in front of uh, UN building uh, in Geneva. You can see some pictures on your screen. These are the pictures from this protest. Tomorrow, Tigrayans are going to protest across the world. Global protest is being held tomorrow. So we could see uh, some protests uh, on Saturday across the US and in other countries as well. We update you tomorrow about global protest uh, due to happen tomorrow. Thanks for watching.